So the second test in the Bledisloe Cup, Rugby Championships, third game. Uh, the Wallabies are in New Zealand to take on the All Blacks at Eden Park. Uh, the teams are out now, they've been named. I'll put them in the description below so you guys can have a look at the full lineups. There aren't a huge amount of changes in these teams uh, that met in Sydney last week where the result was All Blacks 38, Australia 13. Uh, remember that game was 6-5 at halftime to the Wallabies and the All Blacks just really ran away with it in that second half. So uh, is this game going to be any closer? you got to think that the Wallabies are going to need to get the set piece right. It is key. Their line-out was woeful. Their scrum was under all kinds of pressure. Uh, that's going to have to make a, a turnaround. I don't know if you can do it in a week. Unless last week was just an off night. Uh, if, it, if it was, then perhaps we'll be resuming regular service and it'll be um, more or used to seeing from the Wallabies if they can kind of get it right. Uh, the fitness seemed to be an issue last week. The, the Wallabies' defense in that first half was just immense. They had a lot of energy coming forward at the All Blacks, but then second half, it was just not there. Uh, if they can get that right, uh, it'll be interesting. But also, interestingly, the All Blacks themselves said they were poor last week off set piece, and their hands in the first half were not great. So the All Blacks are also looking to lift their game. So if they can manage to do that, then the Wallabies are going to need to really be spot on i mean to be honest you would think that for the wallabies to have a shot here because eden park is just such a hard place for visiting teams to go the wallabies are going to have to play out of their skins and the all blacks may need to have an off night i'm not trying to be disrespectful to the to wallabies when i say that it's just teams don't come to eden park and beat the all blacks it just doesn't happen um in terms of the teams for the all blacks you got franks uh, playing his 100th game still hasn't scored a try maybe it'll be the night I'm not, not sure about that one. I wouldn't be putting money on it, but um, the TAB does have an offer uh, if you want to put a bit on uh, on uh, Owen to get his to get his first try. Uh, Nahola has moved to the left wing because obviously, um, you know, they've had to shuffle around that back three a bit. So uh, Laumapi comes into the midfield uh, with, with Crotty out um, straight from kind of out of the squad to a starting role, which is interesting. He's got good who outside him, so they've got some big boys in the midfield, some strong runners. You've got a battering ram of, of Lomapi and a pretty big boy in, in good hue. So uh, it'd be interesting if there's a kind of change in tactics from the All Blacks because Lomapi and Crotty are very different players. Um, ben Smith is on the right wing. Obviously, there's no uh, Rico Ioane uh, for this one. So, uh, yeah, Ben Smith's back on the wing, which is unfortunate because fullback's his best position, but they got Geordie in at fullback, Geordie Barrett. So, still ain't no slouch team, that All Blacks, that All Blacks team. So, uh, yeah, pretty strong looking. Otherwise, pretty much unchanged. Uh, for the Wallabies, there's a few changes to Tafu Pilota now. Continues on at number two. I mean, the lineup last week was that bad that you thought maybe they would change it up there. Uh, they're sticking with him. But he has got new props on both sides. So, he's got Sio and Ala Alatoa on each side of him. Uh, Kipu and Robertson are still there, but on the bench. Uh, Taniela Tupo, not, I'm assuming it's not fit uh, because he's not named in the squad. Uh, Maddox, after his kind of impressive run uh, last week, gets a spot uh, on the right wing to start with. Obviously, no Falau. Uh, so, Dana Hellipetti moves into fullback, which is probably the best move of all the options they had because he is pretty good in the air. Uh, Tom Banks is on the bench, so let's look forward to seeing him running at some tired players with that gas of his because the guy has got wheels. Uh, and Falau Fainga is on the bench as the reserve hooker, so he's in line for a debut along with Banks if they can get on. So it is a tough ask for this Wallabies team. Um, we'll soon find out whether last week was just an off night, or whether that game plan just can't be sustained for 80 minutes, because uh, it really was such a game of two halves last week. Um, if they win it, they keep the Blitters low alive, they break the Eden Park hoodoo, but everything is pointing to a uh, an All Blacks win. The bookies have got the All Blacks by a massive 21 points at home. Uh, whether it'll be that that comfortable for them, I guess we'll wait and see. But uh, yeah, it does look like a pretty mammoth task for the Wallabies. Still, quality outfit. If there's a team which is going to cause an upset, there's not many that would do it in New Zealand, but the Wallabies are one of them. But uh 
Yeah, I think the All Blacks would have to probably have an off night, like I say. But we will see you guys. Let me know your thoughts. I think the crowd is, uh, the tickets are all sold out for this game. So that, that bodes well. It should be a good evening of rugby. Uh, like I said, you guys let me know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.